Hey. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How how are you doing? We're doing okay. I have my daughters right here who wanted to say a quick hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick hi. I'll do the same thing. Hi. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> uh, it's really wonderful to to get to to spend a little bit of time with you both. Yes, definitely. And Cooper. Oh, and I have two daughters. Uh, hello and hello. <laughs> there she is. That's the one that ran away. Okay. Um, well, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, taking the, the time to connect with me and ask a, ask a question for um, the Ask the Rabbi Fox segment for, for this, uh, this installment. Um, it's really a joy to get to, to be together. And uh, I, um, I would love to hear uh, hear uh, your question. Definitely. Um, so we're a multi-racial, multicultural family. Um, my husband's Cuban Mexican and I'm Mexican white. Um, my family, my mother's side of the family, um, it's a Jewish side. And so they come from um, Malba in New York. And so I was actually not raised here. I was raised in Mexico. Um, so not having that real um, constant connection with the Jewish community. One of the things, things that I struggle with is the idea of in our family, we really teach and value science. And we wanted to know how do we teach our children the value of science and evolution, but also teach them the value of the Torah. So I actually think that the Torah and science ask and look to address different questions. So I actually don't see them in conflict at all. The, the foundation, in fact, of Reform Judaism was the idea that science and religion actually inform one another. They speak to one another on a very powerful level. And so uh, I, um, as I look to how we address this, this question of why does it say in the Torah that the world was created in seven days, whereas with science, we've, we've discovered that the world was created in a very different way than that. Well, I think that they're, they're really hoping to address different questions. Science is trying to look at the specifics, the, the what uh, and the how of our world, trying to understand um, how did our world come to be in the way it is? What, uh, what are the specifics of those things? Um, and I think that religion uh, and Judaism specifically asks a very different question. It asks why. Why did the world come to be the way it is? Why do we, uh, why do we live in the way that we live and how can we live, uh, perhaps there's a how there as well, um, how can we live uh, in, a, in a more meaningful way? And so when I look at uh, the story of creation, for example, as opposed to the story of evolution, um, I, uh, I, I don't see uh, any kind of specificity. In fact, our Torah is not a great place to try to draw science from. Uh, it, it, uh, it, it's from another era that, uh, that didn't have the instruments and understanding that we do today uh, of science. Um, I think it instead asks the question of, of why? Why is this world here? And when we look at the story of creation, we see uh, the different parts of our world. The way that uh, that as our world was created, uh, there are different things that we might look around and find appreciation for. And so we see uh, each thing listed one after the other, um, not as it happened necessarily in this order, but look at these powerful things that are uh, around us that we can appreciate and love. And in fact, part of the act of creation, it says, was the act of creating Shabbat. Now we know that, that there's not a, a scientific uh, way to approach uh, the creation of Shabbat, the, the creation of stepping back, of enjoying this world, uh, of, of really drinking in the, the, the beauty that we're surrounded by, um, because science asks a very different question. Science asks instead, what are the elements that, that make up our world? Um, I would like to suggest uh, something uh, even, even perhaps in addition or beyond that as well which is not just that they are addressing different ways to, or, or looking at, at the same thing in different ways, but that they actually come out with a very similar conclusion where the facts and the information is different, right? 
whereas uh, the Torah might say creation led to uh, the holiday of Shabbat, to that moment when we, uh, when we take a step back and enjoy the world. And the, that evolution might say, look at this beautiful way that we grow, not just over time in our own lives, but over the generations, that they're both looking at our world and saying, what a spectacular, spectacular uh, globe that we live on. What a spectacular universe that is constantly expanding. And while the information may be different in these two different places, uh, Einstein even said that the, the task of physics is, 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 uh, is not just to, uh, to understand the, the specifics of our world, but you can't learn these things without gathering some sense of awe and wonder about them. Uh, and so I think as we teach uh, both uh, the, the stories, which I use that word very deliberately as opposed to the, the facts uh, housed within our, our, uh, our textual tradition, but as we teach the stories in our tradition uh, and, and the facts, the scientific facts uh, that we learn and glean from, from, the, from, from the scientific process, that both can lead us to share with our young people, with our, with our families, with our children, look at this spectacular world we live in. Not only do we have the need to make this world a little bit better, and here are a couple of paths to do it. One is learning the, the, the teachings uh, of these stories. The other is learning the facts uh, and perhaps uh, learning uh, how to make our physical world a little better. Uh, this is a small plug for, uh, for, our, for the important environmental work we do in our world. Um, but both leads us to this great appreciation, this awe, this beauty that we see around us. Uh, science and religion both asking different ways and I think in many ways coming to the same conclusion. Thank you. That that's um I love the way that you formed that in this the stories and how to show both sides of it um and the value of both of them. That's um that's something that is important to us as our oldest is getting ready to uh want to start Torah Center. And so um that's one of the questions that she's had with us. She's very much into science and so that's a, a mostly a question from her. <laughs> sure. Oh, I love it. I love it. We, you know, I, I think that uh, we talk about uh, the idea of placing like, literally, but also figuratively the Torah in the, the hands of our children and say that we're going to learn from them. And we say, okay, they're going to read, uh, you know, the, the words of the Torah. They're going to give a Devar Torah. I think also they, they have questions that open up these texts for us that we, we're, we're not saying that they are going to share back what we have already told them. Mm -hmm. But truly, that they're going to find new questions and new ways to uh, to examine it. Uh, I'm I'm right there with you, uh, and it needs to be said in very clear language uh, that science um, is a critical part of of understanding a world. That religion does not have much to say by way of science. They are different domains, and that when it comes to trying to, uh, well, I mean, a perfect example might be the pandemic. Uh, that our our faith has a lot to say about how we treat ourselves how we live and how we make meaning and, and how we, uh, uh, well, how, how we share the time. But to beat a pandemic, we're not gonna find much in, uh, in, 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 our, in our Torah or our Mishnah. Rather, that, that's gonna come from science. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, my, my daughters, we've always encouraged them to ask questions and they are very much asking questions. <laughs> And so we always try to find answers for them or we look, look it up together. And so I really appreciate the opportunity to ask this, especially um, from you. Um, it's something that's really been important to us and I've, it's been wandering around in our household. So sure. I'm very grateful for that. Oh my gosh, Amber, truly a joy. Um, I'll, I'll just mention one more thing that uh, before I forget, yeah. um, which is, uh, and I don't remember the name of the, I, I believe he was a physicist, a uh, Nobel Prize winning physicist that, um, uh, once was interviewed, and you can actually still find the interview in the New York Times uh, website. They, they, they don't make you pay for that particular archived uh, article. Um, that uh, he was interviewed uh, towards the end of his life. And, um, and the interviewer said, you know, you've, 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 you've had this incredible career of, of examining, uh, you know, our, our scientific world. Um, what do you think made you know you go down that path? Uh, and he said, "Well, I grew up in the Jewish community, and whereas other kids would go to school and they would come back, and their parents would ask them, "What did you learn today?" I would go to school, 
and I would come back and my parents would ask, did you ask any good questions today? And that, that inquisitiveness, that questioning, that wondering that's inherent in our tradition, in our community, uh, I think uh, uh, just serves us well. I'm excited for you to, to continue to get, uh, and for me, <laughs> to get these great questions from, our, from, from your family. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to come. My daughter love asking questions. <laughs> so <Not> fantastic. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more to come. Um, well, thank you so much and welcome to Long Beach. I know you keep hearing that, but welcome to Long Beach. Um, I really appreciate it. It's a second home to me, um, but we, uh, we're very much invested in the community and, and the Temple Israel. That my daughters went to the JCC and the ECE, their whole preschool. And so um, we're very um, involved and love working in the community and being part of Temple Israel and super excited. I'm hoping when this gets better, I don't want to say ends because I'm not sure if that's the correct word, but that we can finally meet in person. I, I very much look forward to that. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you again so much and try to stay cool. Yeah. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Be well. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.